Hey there, welcome back to my channel Automate with Rakesh and in this video we are going to cover uh, Excel use case. Okay, this is a real time use case that you will be facing during one of your projects, right? You may face mostly this is a common use case. So what is that? Let's understand. So there is a column, right? There is a column which has got multiple data within it, wherein for this I have given an example of primary phone number, alternate phone number. So the primary phone number and there is a forward slash and there is a alternate phone number. Similar way in the second row, there is a primary phone number, there is a semicolon and then there is an alternate phone number and in the third row, uh, right primary phone number and there is an ampersand symbol and there is a, so there are th three different kind of delimiters used, right. This could be one of the use case in Excel, okay. So with this, what is your job? Your job is to first separate these two values, right, the primary value and the alternate number. For example, in this one, there is a forward slash delimiter used. So the primary number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then these are all demo numbers. And then the alternate phone number is 9876544321. So you have to separate them and your final output should be, your final output should show um, let's say uh, the ID and then it should show the name and then it should show sorry um, show the name and then show the primary phone number and then show the alternate phone number okay so this should be your output in a sheet number two so you should use this entire data and out of this entire data the output should have name primary phone number and alternate phone, phone number in this way. So this is a real time use case. How can you do it? Right now I can explain you the entire details. But again, I would love to see how many of you who are watching this video will be able to do on your own. So let me first run this and show you what do I mean and how does it work? Okay. So let me I have already created a workflow and I'm going to and I'm using the modern design activities. If you see I'm using everywhere the modern design activities. Now with this uh, entire workflow, uh, I'll be able to achieve what I need. So let me run this. Okay. Let me run this. So it will show for the first row, it will show the, the first value will come as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. And then it will show the second value. You will see okay, how it works. And I want you to design it on your own try to design it. If not in the next video, I'm anyways going to show you how I have created. Right. You, it will be very interesting. Okay. You will get lot many different ways to do it. So you'll be able to develop a logic. So here you can see the first value, the primary phone number has been fetched and I'm using a message box to show. You don't have to show the message box, but it's good practice to just see it. Okay. And then you can later delete the message box output. The final output should be writing in the sheet too. Um, so 3 to 1 it's coming you can see right it has got the primary phone number now it is working on the second row uh, 147 this has come and the alternate phone number should come 1 2 3 okay this has come getting it how it is uh, splitting the data uh, the left data as the primary phone number and the right data as the alternate phone number you can see that Two, five, eight, everything has come and then at the end what we need we want the data to be written in the sheet 2 you can see the data has been written in the sheet 2 the way I want it so this should be the output so this can be pretty well designed with this workflow which I have created try to create a simple data like this okay this is a simple you know create your own simple data table in sheet 1 right you know you can have four columns you can have only two columns whatever you like okay three columns name and primary whatever so create a very simple data table and then the main objective is that you should be able to split the data and write it like this how i have done it successfully right without any error i was able to do it so please do design this workflow and if you design this workflow please do comment that you are able to design this okay or whatever your challenges is are there please do mention right i will try to create a content on this how i have designed it and from there you will be able to learn it. So thank you guys for watching it. Please do um, try this 
and do comment if you are able to create this workflow on your own. Thank you guys for watching. We are going to meet once again in our next video. Please do subscribe in case you have not done it already. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye bye.